time of year, but cooler air it is knocking on our doorstep. Already falling to the 40s in Holland, Muskegon, and South Haven. We're expected to have the 40s widespread by this afternoon, so temperatures will continue to tumble throughout the rest of the day. Breaking down our weather headlines and what you need to know. Today, a few showers will be possible. Some sunshine will return for tomorrow, and by Thursday, we're expected to have rain initially, maybe even a few snowflakes by late Thursday night. It's all a part of this larger low pressure system giving us the rain for today and significant snow off towards the west. A closer look shows that we have light rain that is developing along and towards the west of US 131. On and off light showers will be possible throughout the remainder of the day, but most of us will stay dry and cloudy. Heavy rain returns late after this evening, after 7 p.m., the heaviest of rain on the east side of the state as the system will be pushing north on Wednesday, giving us dry weather and some sunshine throughout the day tomorrow. Eventually, the same system backtracks into West Michigan, giving us rain late in the day on Thursday and maybe even a few snowflakes late Thursday night as temperatures will be dropping below freezing. We only pick up about a tenth of an inch of rain in West Michigan today. Isolated higher amounts will be likely on the east side of the state, but today it certainly is going to be a warmer one to kick off the morning. 48 degrees by the lunchtime hour and around 45 by 5 p.m. with the stray shower likely and winds will shift in direction, drawing in the cooler air for tonight. Tonight's overnight low will be 34 degrees in Grand Rapids and 32 in Kalamazoo. Daytime high temperatures on Wednesday will be back in the 40s, so you'll notice a difference in the atmosphere tomorrow, but at least we'll have that sunshine. The chance of rain is going to be the strongest today, but the chance of snow isn't too far away. A few flurries are possible on Friday, and then a system will be moving in on New Year's Day, which is Sunday. Our future track, the extended model, shows the possibility of some light rain and maybe even a light lake effect snowflake on Friday as that system will be moving out and the colder air will be moving in. But the best chance for a brief week system will be on Sunday, and that is New Year's Eve. We are expected to have the chance of widespread light snow showers, and then eventually some lake effect will be possible on Monday. The greatest chance for any accumulation will be along and towards the west of US 131. But overall, this is going to be a very weak system and accumulation will be pretty minor. A look at our Super 7 day shows the chance of that wintry mix on Thursday, mainly rain with some snow overnight and then another system moving in on New Year's Eve Sunday, a high of 36 overnight lows will be dropping to the 20s. So take your time while traveling for New Year's Eve.